When considering every acre counts, landowners have to weigh profit against other objectives. We visited with several cooperating producers who gave us their insights into land management. Would you manage marginal lands on rented land different than on, on your own land that the family owns? Uh, I try and manage it all like I actually do own it. And uh, as long as the landlord agrees that what we're doing is going the right direction, I think we can improve them soils and I would just manage it like my own. So you kind of stepped into my next question, Gene, um, and, and you maybe have answered it before, but I want to revisit it. I mean, um, you know, would you manage your marginal lands differently on your own land versus your rented land? I personally wouldn't, but if I don't own the land, I don't make the decision. Uh, that's the beauty of this thing is that I can go to somebody that I have just uh, been introduced to that wants to rent me their land, and then I can I can kind of ask them, um, what you know, what are your goals? Uh, there are some folks that don't care; uh, they want so much, they want return. And but most of the people that we deal with uh, actually enjoy hunting, and uh, they we've had a lot of people that have come to really love the land that didn't before, you know, had no, you know, once they get involved, you know, an absentee guy that comes out and buys land and now he gets to come out and enjoy it, it just, uh, it's, it, 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 the experience to those people, I mean, we've kind of changed people's lives in terms of, you know, the, the turning the land into so they can enjoy it and and, and know more, that it's more than just probably an, an investment type thing. It goes beyond that probably. Uh, I mean, land to somebody like my brother and I is a legacy. It's, 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 it's not like how much do you have in the uh, stock market? How much is your land worth? It, it's at a higher category than that. And other people have come to that conclusion that we've dealt with that initially didn't own land, had knew nothing about agriculture, knew nothing about habitat, knew nothing about hunting, and so it's kind of nice to be able to bring them into it. But the fact of the matter is, whoever owns the land dictates what we do. Very good. I, I think there's one thing that we do run in. You know, the one thing there's a certain landowners that are thinking pretty long term that that like like the CRP program and stuff like that. But I think. I think going forward now, there's a lot of people that they don't maybe know what's going to happen in four or five years, or they don't want to have to deal with the, you know, there's quite a bit of regulations with CRP uh, on, on length of contracts and signing this and the paperwork, and I think some people just don't want to deal with that, and that's why I think some of these newer, newer programs like the Pheasants Forever, where it's shorter term, you know, they know they, and they don't have to sign they don't have to be looking 10 15 years out more options and it gives them more options and they feel and then maybe it matches up with their lease a little better so i think that you know some of those programs are going to work better for on on some rented ground for sure because of shorter terms and and there's not not so many so much red tape involved so are you willing to share with us how you work some of that out with with landlords that you have um you know, some of the arrangements you've made because of marginal lands, uh, if you're willing to share that with us. We'd... Yeah, I got, uh, well, a couple landlords that, uh, well, one in particular, I went in and just kind of asked what kind of things they were interested in before I even started renting it, just to kind of get an idea of, of uh, you know, what landlords are looking for, you know, if the time ever come that, become available than that but a lot of it was focusing on you know a ditch that ran through his his property he didn't like that they're farming up right up to the edges of it you know didn't like weed so there were some areas that um starting to creep in with the saline areas so i just took out a few acres right next to where i have cattle and and started hay in that spot so just kind of I think they've just seen some of the things that I've been doing and just appreciate 
what I've been doing. I haven't, you know, specifically said, I, you know, make guarantees or promises that, you know, that it can <laughs> fix it, but it's just right. go along with. Uh, yeah. So these, these landlords appreciate the way you're taking care of the land. Yeah. We talked with our landlords and told them what we were thinking about. And we said, it won't affect your rent, but we're going to lose less on this ground by doing this and give it a chance to turn it around so it becomes more profitable. And they were all on board with it. Um, in fact, they were very happy to see it because they know we're taking care of their land as if it's our own and we're looking long-term.